Hi everyone, it's Jodie here. I uh, just thought I'd show you this little video of this quirky picture that I painted in my real, really little um, sketchbook that I have. It is a hand mauler sketchbook. I think it's just is for sketching, but um, because the paper's not, uh, it cannot tolerate too much water so I have have gessoed it and I had to put um, painter's tape in the spine because it had ran through on a couple of other projects. Right so um, I started this and I was trying to do a sunset and um, I'm at the beginning I really don't like what I was doing I really did not like it at all. But I kept persevering with it, thinking, oh, I'll get the blending right. I was using a bit of my heavy body acrylics with a touch of distress paints. And I also didn't like how it was so shiny. But I kept working at it. I just kept working away, thinking, oh, I'll get it. Well, if I get the blend right, it'll look good. I'll just... You know, I just got to keep working at it, so I just kept working away, making it look like a rainbow, but that's not really what I wanted. I just, I mean, I've seen, you see so many pictures of sunsets and the, they look so amazing, you know, all the different colours and things like that, and I think that's what I was trying to achieve, trying being the uh, appropriate word, but... Um, I think I was failing pretty miserably. I mean, it looks a really nice rainbow, but um, that's not really what I was doing either. So I just kept, as I said, I just kept working away and working away, trying to get this thing to look right. And I mean, I suppose it's just um, something about art, is that you just you try not to give up because sometimes, you know, like some of my other things that I've done I've put them aside for ages and I come back to them later on and um, you suddenly have like this flash of brilliance epiphany whatever you want to call it I know some other sayings but I won't say them on here and um, it suddenly comes together so not all the time are they complete failures I mean I would have considered this a complete it's a complete failure at this point um, but as I said I sort of kept working at it and I mean at the end of it which um, it doesn't look really too much like what it does now but it, I'm really happy with how it turned out at the end still is a sunset so that was the whole idea um, yeah so as I said I was using my heavy body acrylics and that also, I think, was just not quite right for what I was trying to do. Especially in a sketchbook, because nobody's going to look at it. So it doesn't matter if it's not light, of light quality and all that sort of thing. These are, these are just my, um, well, they're just, a sketchbook is a playbook. It's, it's where you can do what you like and you don't care what anybody else thinks. So, yeah, at this point I put in... Um, it's a tree because it's a sun setting in the horizon over the ocean and a tree because I always like trees and I am try to sort of include trees a bit more because they're another way of practicing as well as doing skies and sunset and things like that. The more times you do them, the more times you, know, you get better at them and uh, I was pretty pleased with how, how the branches and all came out going freehand because you can mess that up as well. Okay, so here we go. This is where I must have left it, and I've come back and I thought, I don't like it, I don't like it, I've got to change it. So I got my Distress Paints, which are just a craft paint by Tim Holtz, and um, I've gone over it. I just thought, nah. So I've gone over, yeah, just painted right over the top of it, over everything, the tree and everything that I've done. And I am so much happier with it. Blending nice rich purple down to that 
red. And as I said, yes, they are just craft paints. And so that's what it, it looks like. And got the sun there. And now I'm putting in the ocean. And I've had to go over the top of the tree. So I've lost quite a lot of my tree, but I thought, oh, well, I should be able to see where that was at and just paint that back in. And so with any sort of sun setting over the ocean, you also have a reflection of that sun into the ocean. That's the thing you always remember when there's, even in the darkest of darks, there is a hint of light and the other thing with the, the light is to have the whitest of whites type thing and the, the lightest. Make, get those highlights and, and low lights or highlights in the darkest dark are uh, what give your painting contrast and depth, help to give a depth to what you're doing. Even something that's not realistic, I mean like this, this is not realistic, this is just out of my head. Um, sure, I looked at sunsets for references but I haven't copied anything in particular I've looked at images of how the um, sun reflects upon the water because that's something you want to try and um, keep and you know you look at references you look at all sorts of things and you just join them all together and put your touch to it and your ideas to it um, to create your own painting right in the foreground too where my hand is, I, is where it's like a tree root and things like that and I, I was trying to put some rocks in there that didn't really show you how I did that on the video I skipped that because sometimes I sort of chop bits out and trying to make the videos a little bit shorter as well so yeah so as I said, yeah, I was really happy with how this sunset looks. It looks so much better than the other one. <laughs> Just goes to show that don't give up. Put it away if you're getting frustrated with it and have go and do something else or just leave it and go back to it later. And That's happened so many times. It all seems to come out better. So yeah, I'm just putting in like um, the texture of the ocean and the sun reflecting off those little light top, little bits that are higher up and that sort of thing. And this is me trying to put my tree back in, which wasn't actually as easy the second time round because I had to try and follow the lines that were in there and because I'd done it freehand to begin with, it was actually easier first time around trying to go back over the top of it was not the best but um, I think I managed to save it plus I couldn't see where the top part was I can't see the branches in the top I've lost them completely so I've had to rethink think where those ones go but in the end I suppose it's easier to recreate it completely than trying to like that first branch was so hard to see where the lines were so going over the, trying to get it to, my paintbrush to go exactly over the top of them, that was what was difficult. And, uh, trying just to make the branches look realistic, they just, I just left them basically black. I haven't tried to put any highlights or get too fancy, which probably would have made it look far more realistic, but as... As I said, this is like a just a bit of fun, an interpretation. But even the black I've used, the Tim Holtz black paint, because it's quite a matte. It's they they're matte, you know. They don't come up shiny. Even putting matte medium in the heavy body paints doesn't really make them completely matte. It changes them. I think this part here I was putting in some rocks but it, I haven't got the light. I'm sorry about that. The light's not really showing 
what I'm doing very well. I sort of have a, a reasonable good setup, but it's, the lighting's probably is the only thing that lets it down. Okay, so this is the part where I draw a pirate ship, <laughs> or a tall ship, or whatever you want to call it. So I had a go at this freehand, just trying to stick in where I want it to go with my paintbrush, but um, I wasn't happy with that. It was all wibbly-wobbly, so... Rescue is a pit pen. I used a extra small nib on my Faber Castell pit pen. Basically, just roughly did a real sketchy sketch type thing of where everything should go, and then I went in with a my paintbrush, and I did put some. Well, I have put some highlights and things like that in with that. So this is where I pick up my paintbrush and a bit of the blacky grey and also went in with some of the colours that were in the sky and put in a few highlights and reflections of the sun off the sails and off the side of the boat and also in the water, the shadow of the boat was coming away from um, coming away from the front of the boat towards where the tree is because the sun is to the left and at the back, so the shadow should be to the right and at the front, if you know what I mean. So basically, just put in, putting in, fiddling around, putting in bits of colour to. Define it more. I probably should have zoomed in when I was doing this, so I'm really sorry about that as well. Which I would have had to stop the camera and start again because it's just my cell phone. I don't have a flash camera. Would like one, but sadly, maybe another time. Okay, well, well, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and see you next time. I hope I've inspired you to have a play. Bye.